up in the Philippines. Well, we left Manila like when I was like 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So then yeah. I spent like my teenage years here in the U.S. in San Francisco, actually outside okay. San Francisco. And um, yeah, so so first San Francisco, and then you moved, all, uh, moved yes, over here. Yes, then I move over here. Why make the move? Change the okay. energy. I've always loved the um, mm -hmm. the energy in New York. So um, so when I had the opportunity to move. Right. I said, you know what? Let's do it. And you started off being an artist right away and no. creating products. The or? artist came maybe ten years later. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, yeah. so what were you doing before? Uh, uh, before I was an accountant, so I used to work for um, fashion mm. companies, okay, and jewelry companies. So that's yeah. kind of like how I understood yeah. how the business works. What and because of my knowledge of the yeah, operation yeah. side of. Um, businesses okay and then and you're like no fuck that i want to i want to do my own thing right. and and, exactly. and and walk me through a little bit of some of the pieces here okay. like i feel like you know you do have an array of feels i get i, I see some clothing yes, yes i see accessories over here there's some for my pies over correct, there like correct. there's you know walk me through the kind sure. of like so i work mainly with handwoven fabrics from the philippines and so, which region are you working specifically with a certain region? No, or? they're like most of the fabrics I have right now are from Luzon, like Cordilleras, but I do have like Yakan fabric. Mm -hmm. Like, this is Yakan. Now, is Yacan from now is now. this like the Baguio tribes? Like, the tribes in Baguio? Like, I feel like in the Cordilleras, yes. Yeah. Cordilleras. The, the Cordillera is the mountain range. So, in the mountain range, got you. There's a lot of different. So, these, um, yes. So, most no, of these fabrics are from the Cordillera. You're talking, we're talking about specifically the, the squares correct. rather than the full quarter. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So, I do um, like these hats over there, and then I have t shirts, kind of like what I'm wearing. Okay. Where I do the pockets. So now, you do that yourself? Yes. Yeah, you, you do it yes. yourself. So, yes. you do the stitching yourself? Correct. I cut and so, sew. And I sell it. <laughs> That's awesome. I feel like, and you designed it too. And you, I designed you, yeah, it too. Yeah, so you, like, yeah, I just play around with the color, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the color of the, um, what you call this, with the fabric. Yeah. And then I started to come up with my color combination. So my top sellers are the hats. Got these you. These are, people love these. Yeah. As I would well as the t-shirts and the tank tops that I have over here. Perfect. Okay. That are like, you know, with the hand woven fabrics. Okay. The pockets. They're just simple, Pocket, yeah, but yeah. a little bit of touch yeah. to them. And then, now, now, do you work with uh, certain weave makers in, 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 I do. in the Philippines? I do. So I work with several of them. So mm -hmm. I work with ones, uh, like I said, most of my um, my uh, contacts are in the Cordilleras. I have some contacts at uh, Ilocosur province mm -hmm. and Abra province. So the Binacol right. fabric are from... Right. Um, I, it's okay. It's okay. I okay. think it's okay. So they, um, I just buy whatever fabrics they already mm -hmm. made. Yeah. And sometimes particular colors are good. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, okay, I want blue. Blue is like a popular color. I got you. You're and kind red. of going with the seasonal and, trends uh, and stuff. Yeah, and then so, you, you know, they'll send me, um, you know, thank God for Facebook uh, <laughs> yes. and Viber. Like, you no, know, they, 1, they send me pictures and then I kind of just pick from there. Right. And, uh, and yeah, that's kind of like And a lot of these are, you know, compared to, you know, big manufacturing. Like a lot of these things are usually digital looms, I would imagine. But this one would no. be like your hand. There are wooden yeah. looms. Um, there's a couple of videos in my Instagram if you look at them. But they're huge. They're, there's two types of looms. There's a backstrap loom yeah. that they have to tie in the backstrap. Yeah. So the fabric is not looms. that yeah. big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the ones generally for like these types of fabric, the more durable one, they're giant wooden looms. Yeah, so you would order rolls of these and then you would cut them out on them. Yeah, cut them out, get them shipped over here. Awesome. Cut them out and then yeah. actually and figure about, out what I'm gonna do with them first. And then what seems like my, my personal favorite right now are these earrings. Like, tell me a little bit more about So the earrings, earrings like, are like, some of them I made, some of them I get from the weavers. So the oh, weavers okay. have so products. And so they um, they have other products okay. that they make from the weaving. And yeah, so yeah. these are their products. Some okay. of them are their products. I got you. And um, yeah, they're just cute, like little earrings. It's dope. I love these little colorways. Like yeah, yeah, this, yeah. The yellow that we got going on over here. And same thing That's with them. Really... Um, like, you know, they, they'll make a whole bunch of them. And then I, yeah. like, you know, oh, you know, this colorway didn't work. So maybe yeah, you yeah. can tweak it a little bit and make more 
blues, then I love more it. greens, because yeah. sometimes green is... Is that beadwork? No, I look like beads from afar. Like these, Which the, one? The, the, the yeah, they one. are beaded work. No, yeah. no, I mean like little beads. Oh, like, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, be... the, the one at the bottom, you are beads. Mm-hmm. That's cool. It's very true to, to yes. Filipino textiles. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and obviously you got your pumai pies and, and the I trucker have the pumai pie because cool. um, it's summer right now. And then I have pins. And you then made I do, these? No, no I didn't make them. You, you stamped these yourself. I sourced them from the Philippines. These are dope. These reminds me of the frog. Yes, they're the cousin <laughs> of the frogs. Yeah, but the I frog think the frog, one. people will be scared if I have them <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I like these little kimono yeah, style. Yeah, so I do. What are these um, yes. Welcome to the Filipinos in a Six New York to Cali tour presented by Deer Floor. Proudly Filipino and women-owned, Deer Floor is on a mission to bring you vibrant flavors and a vibrant culture. They've crafted the first ever line of 100% vegan gummies featuring unique Filipino tastes like ube, calamansi, buko pandan, and mango. Taste the culture with Deer Floor and join us in celebrating Filipino flavors on Filipinos in the 6th New York City to Cali tour. Check them out at DeerFloor.com and follow at Love Deer Floor on Instagram. Come over here and take a look at these. So I do make um, like kimono jackets. Yeah. Like this particular kimono jacket I made using um, piña fabric. Okay. And in all. Yeah, so it's like now. yeah, it's a fusion between a barong and a Correct. you know and a kimono. I exactly. Feel. So like I my um the, I've been making jackets. Let me see that yellow one. The yellow one here. Yeah. yeah. You've been making jack. How long have you been making stuff like that? Oh my god, like seven years, eight years. Yeah. So I've been working around um, uh, with the fabric. Yeah. And you know, trying to do like little iter- iteration of the the kimono jacket. Yeah. Do you find that it's difficult to work with a material like this that seems so, you know, delicate? You need to practice with that. I so the imagine, first time yeah. you do it, you're gonna screw it up. Right. Because right, right. it's like you know, I I had like for example the pina fabric you have to iron out. To get all the folds, yeah, and then and since it's a natural it fiber, it won't burn. As, correct, as, as, correct. As, as, yeah, so you have to just iron it, yeah, steam yeah, yeah. it, and then you learn to work with it because it's it's very delicate, so it's even hard to sew. So I had to come up with ways. Okay, how do I? Because I, I have to use two ply. So this is a high level. This is a high level, you know, um, construction and technical. Yeah. You know, uh, construction of this. That's dope. And yeah. this is your, the tag. That's my tag. That's my brand, Natibo. Yeah. Natibo. And where's that? Where does that? that Natibo is from? native. Yeah. And uh, yes. Atibo Pai is um, it's like etc. Among other things, like something like that. Yeah. Kind of like if you go to the Philippines, you'll see it. Yeah. Native everywhere. and and all, and etc. Yeah, etc. No, yeah, no. and then I just do the same concept where like these are binacol fabric. Then I make the jackets. Wow. Out yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. And I just do. This is cool. It's it's again. It's very Japanese. It reminds me of something that I would see mm-hmm. in, in Muji, really. Yeah, honestly, that's truly, the idea. You know. It's just like you know, because the fabric. Yeah. It's very. Um, it doesn't have a lot of move. Yeah. Because of how it's woven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only construction to make it, because you can make people make clothes out of it, but it's very restricting. Mm-hmm. So I. That's why I decided to do like kind of like a kimono jacket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which is a little bit more. Um, you know, relax. And do you find that, um, how do you find, I'm very curious to, to see, I mean, right now we're in a Filipino, I'm, I'm guessing this is like a Filipino yes. based creative market. Correct. And do you find that within, you know, this day and age that this is a lot more frequent and often and there's a rise in Filipino communities coming yes. together, especially the creative field? Yes, yes, there is a lot more. I mean, I've been doing this for since 2016, I've been popping up. Yes. And when I started back then, I was probably one of the only Filipino vendors. I Maybe there's yeah. another one that was selling vintage yeah, yeah, here yeah. in New York City, but I was the only one. And okay. then now, since the pandemic, yeah. people have um, tapped their creative side. Most, a lot of food uh, vendors, but they're still like, you know, Filipino. Um, uh, you remind me of my friend um, in a Toronto legend, actually. He moved to Manila now. And uh, his name is Jody. Uh, so he's a big bro. Like, you know, he's a Toronto legend. I remember in Toronto, he used to have his own store mm-hmm. of thrifting. Now you're talking about thrifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was the pioneer of that. He's like one of the OGs. And then he decided to close down a store and move to Manila. To Manila. Reverse migration. That was the first time I started hearing that word. And he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm reverse migrating. I'm like, what? Yeah. So now he has, you know, he he's the head of Fringe Manila. Um, he does uh, a lot of work. 
for the queer community and like this kind of like push for yeah. Filipino like arts. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, he's 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 very, and this is very reminiscent of that. So you know, I think uh, I think I, I mean that in the highest compliments. Yeah. You know, because I, I look up to him. It's um, there is an opportunity to do this in the Philippines. Yeah. So I do see like you know like even for my business because there's like big fairs in Manila that yeah, yeah, highlights yeah. like this kind of artists and 1000 artists and I, I like I've been there I go there every year and it's mm -hmm. like I, was, I I go for like 4 months at a time yes yeah I just wow I, 4 months I avoid the winter time as much as I can I don't we're from Toronto <laughs> okay you yes. can understand the I I know the winter you know so yes, I yes, yes. when I go to the Philippines I go for like until four months. Months. and what I can say right now is that every weekend there's a fair yeah there is, yeah. Like yes, this. Yes, I yes, think yes. it's very... Yes, yes, yes. So it's kind of like the yeah. same thing that's happening here in New York. Like, yeah. we do Philippines Fest. That's our yeah. street fair here in New York City. Is that the biggest one, you would say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so we do Philippines Fest. And we've been doing it for... You know, we started off as other markets. Mm -hmm. But then Philippines Fest has been around for, like, two years now. Okay. And so we've been, you know... Is that more, like, food-based or creative? Food-based. Like more and it's a, mostly food. Yeah. We have a lot of food vendors, yeah. but then we have arts and crafts, kind of like myself. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. they're going to pop up at um, Philippines Fest on Sunday. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so Beautiful. this is kind of like a little bit preview. And then Audrey over there, yeah. she's the owner of Cabicera. She's also a founder Capicera. of um, okay. uh, Philippines Fest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Habisara. Oh, she's tatted up. That's it. No, that's Joanne. Oh, okay. Aji is the one over here with the hat. <laughs> the great shirt? Yes. Okay, hard. Okay, but yeah, no, she's tatted up though. Okay, I yes, see you. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, fuck, I gotta, before I leave, I gotta get a, a bunch of this. I have like little nephews. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, once three, once one, and I was just babysitting them for five days. They would, they would, I would, I would love for them to have some of this. Yeah, because they're half Kurds, right? So I'm like, yo, fuck mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I gotta represent the Filipino. But no, this is dope. And so I mean, again, God bless you and the way that you know you you you, Don't forget you your present <laughs> your arts oh, and your thank creativity. You. Yeah, I mean, people representing you know the Filipino people culture. love it. Um, not just Filipinos, but non-Filipinos, because there's not really a lot of platform to highlight like these type of um, like artistry or artisan yeah. work from the Philippines yeah. so um, so other cultures are like oh shop yeah here and, and that's why I, you know Filipinos in the six is very crucial to you know having this platform right there's not many platforms where there's you know they highlight Filipino creatives and you know um, and, and exposing us to the North American kind of like perspective so you know shout out to Filipinos in the six and uh, you know thank you once course, again thank for you for having us um and i can't wait to see you what what next that you got going on i feel like you you need some bottoms i feel like you need some bottoms, bottoms is hard to work with because of the, um, <laughs> the the no give on the fabric no, I got you. oh yeah. true, 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 true. so i, oh, you I can, can incorporate now you can incorporate, can incorporate them, them yeah, yeah. yeah so like i just, just haven't the, figured that out yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. the fabric on top kind of exactly like how you did i think that's what I, I, i've had ideas like that but it's just a matter of just like no oh, that's cool it. Man, thank you so much thank for you having us. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I appreciate it.